Ladies, are you feeling more Netflix and chill than hot and bothered? Spice up your bedroom game with In The Mood Libido Gummies. These passion fruit-flavored treats are packed with natural aphrodisiacs to boost your desire, stamina, and sensitivity. Get ready to turn up the heat. No caffeine jitters, just pure passion. In The Mood Libido Gummies, because sometimes you need a little help getting in the mood. Use code HOLLY for listeners to receive 25% off at slumbercbn.com slash HOLLY. Okay, so you said small penis encouragement. I don't I don't know if I've ever heard that before. I've heard lots of small penis humiliation. Yeah, I've so seen it's just it. more so like you're acknowledging that they do have a small penis, but you're being like loving and encouraging about it. Like, yeah, you go little guy, like you can still do it. Like, I'll just give you a chance. Oh I'm not going to feel it penetrate me, but I'll still like, it's cute, you know? Oh my God. It's so like the little engine that could. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> I have to laugh. But... Yeah. <laughs> Come on, little guy. You yeah, can do it. Yeah, you can do it. And you can, you know, like, wow. enjoy these curves and I'm not going to penetrate much through it, but like, let's it's, get that. It's almost like the humiliation, but like in a different tone, yeah, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's still like- So interesting. It's, they still enjoy the fact that I, like, I'm not interested in their mm -hmm. small penis, mm -hmm. but they're not wanting to be humiliated about it. Mm -hmm. Like it's encouraged in it. Interesting. I've never heard a script go that way, but that makes sense. Now you really do like the the mommy kind Love of it. encouragement. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that niche. Yeah, I do like like I said, like tone for mm -hmm. that kind of role play is so important. Mm -hmm. Like the taboo role play really taught me mm -hmm. basically like a lot about sex work. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So it's just like I I'm dom mummy a lot. I'm submissive mummy a lot. I'm like disciplinary mummy a lot. And uh, yeah, I just, I love it. My mummy boys fund most of my stuff. <laughs> and I do love the taboo role play. Do you find that they're often younger than you? Yes. Or do they vary in age? Actually, I mean, like, I can, I honestly, I I don't know if I can really answer that because I have only, only one person in my core group is that, mm -hmm. that I've like broken it down and been like, know her, his age and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like they're older than me or younger than me. I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, I should take a tally or a vote or a poll. You should do yeah. a poll. Or yeah, interested. do a poll and let me know. I'll do it for the plot. <laughs> Is there one particular um, tone that you prefer to do? Like, do you prefer the nurturing or the dom or? Mm -hmm. If I had like the four scripts in front of me and I could choose a tone for the day, I'd probably just go with the nurturing it mm -hmm. probably comes more naturally mm -hmm. um but enjoyment wise i enjoy the dom mm -hmm. a lot more like strict dom it's it's a lot more fun mm -hmm. but yeah if i want to have just like a really smooth shoot day where i'm not really challenging myself i would fall into the role of caretaking yeah got it do you do dick ratings? Yeah, I love. I do like so many a week. They're they're oh, yeah. they're big business. Yeah. Um, tell me about like how you do your dick ratings. All right. I still film on like my crazy camera for dick ratings, mm -hmm. and people are like, "Yes, I could just go like this with my phone and mm -hmm. give the people what they want, which is like a quick return on a dick rate." But I just can't do it. Yeah. Oh, I just can't do it. So I have the whole setup for the dick rates. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. And, um, and yeah, I just rate the crap out of their cock. Do you give them, so it's like a, a scale of one to 10, I assume? Yeah. At the end, I let them know where they fall on my range of mm -hmm. appealing, like how I find it, like overall appeal to mm -hmm. me. And like a bunch of different things goes into that. Like, it's like, you could have this huge monster dick, but I mean, like, Everything falls into my rating, mm -hmm. like appeal wise. What are like some of the specific things that you look at? I look at like overall, just like how proportionate it is. I love like the tip of a cock is my favorite part. Really? So like the definition on the tip is very important. It doesn't mean you have to be like circumcised. So like mm -hmm. pull that skin back. Let me see. Like the tip of the cock is the most important thing to me. There's like bonus points. If I like see full balls, I like that. Mm -hmm. Or if I see like dripping pre cum, mm -hmm. and also if I know that dick pic was taken just for me, mm. that's a bonus. And um, yeah, there's ways to get higher on the scale. 
how honest are you? Do you find... It depends. Because honestly, like, this is my career. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to request that I'm honest, I am 100% honest. Mm -hmm. But if you are a small penis simulation guy or uh, a size queen lover, you know what I mean? I got to take those things into consideration because... I think of dick rates as a custom video. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's what they want to see. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not going to be honest because that's what they've requested. Yeah. But most guys are wanting an honest dick rate. Yeah. Yeah. I um, will generally not give below a six. No? No. You won't go there? No. Unless you break it to them. Unless you say that like they, they ask for like that. But let them know it's just personal preference. Like... Well, I think maybe it's because I don't actually care that much about the size of a penis. Yeah. Like when it yeah. comes to my partner, it's like not that important to me. So a cock literally would just like not even fall under a six for you. If you want to hear about my, yeah, what goes, what matters to me with deck ratings, um, because I'm actually a photographer, mm -hmm. I the photo matters a lot mm -hmm. to me. And that's like one of the main things I will focus on. Like a dick is a dick is a dick. Mm -hmm. But um, what I really take into account is the lighting, mm -hmm. where you're taking the photo. If you're sitting on the toilet and you yeah. send me a picture oh, of your God. dick on the toilet, like instantly you're getting fucking dog. I just don't know how that happens, Because like, I know what you're probably doing at that moment yeah. and like do it. You know what I mean? Hard like, to look fast. Come on. The state of the room that you're in. Like I get guys that take a picture of their dick and I look behind the dick and their room's a fucking trash. There's mm -hmm. like empty pizza boxes, like mm -hmm. swatted up tissues. Their bed isn't made. There's stains on the sheets. I'm like, what the fuck? Because like as a woman, and mm -hmm. I think a lot of women think that like, I'm not even coming into your bedroom to look at your penis mm -hmm. if it looks like that. Like clean your fucking room because exactly. if like your room is that disgusting, then like what's your hygiene like? Mm -hmm. And also like, just, I don't want to be in that environment. Like set the mood, you mm -hmm. know, like give me a clean room. I deserve that much. Okay. You I'm, know? Lo I'm loving this. Like, I feel like you should launch like a course for guys because they love taking pictures of their dick. I know. So you could really help the world. So like, many of them are honestly, bad at it. You could make a difference in sex work because we have to see these pictures. So you could <laughs> drop the course I'm here to like, How to promote take that. a good dick pic Please. by Holly Randall. Yes. And yes. then you get higher scores with everybody you request dick rates from. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You may be onto something. Yeah. I'm here to save sex work Please. from bad dick pics. Because it's a big part of it. <laughs> it is. Yeah. The lighting. But yeah, all of these things I like take into account. And then sometimes like this one guy sent me one and behind I saw like all these records and they were like really cool like albums mm -hmm. and, and bands. And I was like, you've got great taste in music. That gives you another point. See, like, the brownie <laughs> points are, are different for you and I. But now I, I must tell you, you're you're enlightening me to like be harder on these guys about their pictures. I, I think it's so, so I'm important. So now take this into account. Yeah. In you got really, You got to think about all yeah. of that, like whether or not they're shaved. Um, mm -hmm. What's another thing that I take into account? Um, actually, and also like their personality just mm -hmm. in general like how they've been especially if they're patient with me because mm -hmm. sometimes i get really busy and it yeah, takes me a while see? to do it but see when guys request dick rates they literally want it like that that day yeah, and, and it's like come for on. me it's not happening no it's me not neither possible for it's me. not possible like i have to like set aside yes. time for it um so bonus but, points if they're patient yeah so if they're patient yeah. i'm like that literally is a bonus point. Yeah, you're I'm like, like you're automatically obviously a cool guy. Yeah, because you know you were really nice about waiting, mm -hmm. and so yeah, for me it's like I'm like a penis is a penis, but like for yeah. me it's what's around the pe the person attached to the penis, right? Yeah. Like that's more important to me. So all of that stuff factors in. Um, it's funny actually because this one guy sent me a dick pic. He wanted a dick rating, and he had like you know a big. It wasn't even that big. It was fine. Yeah. But I gave him some points off because he, you know, took it in a, a messy room. Mm -hmm. He lost his shit on no me. No way. Lost his shit. He called me, like, he called me all these names. He said I was a dumb whore. Really? Like, you stupid bitch. Like, I have a great huge cock. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? The photo. Like, he went insane. Oh, I'm like, damn. oh, you just lost more points. Like docking all the Two. points. Like, like, wow. I don't even know if you get a score. It's now you get a zero <laughs> and you get blocked yeah, from my account. Like, for congratulations. Sure. I don't put up with like, hmm. yeah. no, I don't, I don't have a high patience 
tolerance for any of that. So yeah, good. It was pretty good. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. But most of the time I think that when they like join your OnlyFans and they're mm-hmm. paying for your time, they're generally pretty um respectful. Yeah. No, it's I, the free social media platforms where you exactly. make it the opposite. Yeah, I, I agree with you there for sure. Attention all women who have ever faked a headache. It's time to genuinely get in the mood with these delicious libido boosting gummies. Packed with natural aphrodisiacs like horny goat weed. Yes, that's a real thing. And maca root, these passion fruit flavored treats will have you feeling friskier than a cat in a catnip factory. Whether you're looking to reignite that spark or fan the flames even higher, in the mood gummies have got you covered. They're low in sugar, caffeine free, and doctor approved because nothing kills a mood like a sugar crush or insomnia. So, ladies, pop a gummy and get ready to pop, well, you know. In the mood gummies, turn your bedroom into a red room without the need for handcuffs, unless you're into that sort of thing. And make sure that you use code HOLLY to receive 25% off at slumbercbn.com. That's S-L-U-M-B-E-R-C-B-N.com slash HOLLY. <laughs> 